Greetings and welcome in a tent with a Frenchman. And I want to say hello to all of you at the same time. Um, if you are a listener of this podcast, you don't understand why I have to specify it. But this time it's new. This podcast is being filmed. Um, I wanted to have um, one episode that was filmed in the condition of my tent, which is not easy because every time I end up in my tent way too late and it's um, already dark and we would not see anything. It's not the best bivouac, to be fair. Um, I'm right before the Vanoise National Park and I know that in the Vanoise I will not be able to um, do what I want, so I decided to plant my tent a little bit before. For those of you who don't understand, and for those of you who are just coming in here uh, from the video, just know that every night when I go to sleep during my through hikes, it was the case on the Via Adriatica, on the GR10, and now on the Hexatrek, obviously, um, I just record a podcast. I record a podcast of roughly five minutes. It's always a little bit more, especially now that I'm explaining the concept. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just enjoying... Um, this it's it's a way for me to um, get my thoughts out like if I would talk to a friend um, and it's also extremely intimate um, in the podcast I will not I mean <laughs> almost not um, pretend I do pretend obviously everybody does but I'm trying not to do it also on a podcast, it's more of the uh, things that actually matter to me, what I have in my mind, etc. If you see me only on stories and only on Instagram and on social networks, you would imagine that I am some kind of silly man, always in a good mood and always cheerful and always jumping around like a, like a leprechaun. But not ginger. So, a gnome? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm, most of the time, I'm like this. Um, but anyway, so yeah, uh, let's do the normal podcast anyway. Um, so today I did a ton of elevation down, which is rare. Um, I don't like to talk numbers. I, I I find it a little bit gross. But yeah, most of the days was spent going down, 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 down. Um, I. Woke up in this horrible shed that was half destroyed. Um, but it was nice, actually, because I could actually take the time. It, it was raining like crazy. Oh, my God. Is it starting to rain now? It's starting to rain and all my stuff is outside. I will have to cut this one short. Um, yeah, no, I was happy to have um, the option to uh, be um, indoors. Not indoors, but like uh, at least under a roof. So I could take my coffee, I could do everything that I wanted. Um, and, it, and it made for a cooler morning. Then obviously it was the big ascent and then the big descent. But the big descent was nice because during the big descent, I didn't have to think too much. Um, I, could, I could go quite fast, which is rare for me again. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I should check how many kilometers I've done today, but no, not so much. I'm dangerously reaching the uh, thousand kilometers uh, of the Hexatrack, which is which is a record for most people, uh, because it's one third. But it's it will be especially meaningful for me, uh, especially the a thousand one hundred, because my previous my previous uh, through hike was, well, actually a thousand one hundred kilometers on the Via Adriatica, so it will be uh, something I've never done before. It's really raining. The storm has been menacing for days now, and. And we had just a little bit of a storm at some point during the day. Not big one, but like a shower all of a sudden. like, <laughs> and, and I was not ready for it. But it was fun because the sun came back literally a second after that. So that was interesting. Anyway, um, not looking forward for tomorrow because it's a big ascent. Everything that I went down on today, it will be <laughs> to climb up tomorrow. But I will pass by a Sherpa. Oh my god, I love the Sherpa. A Sherpa is a local supermarket. Um, and I will be able to uh, get some more saucisson before the Vanoise because the Vanoise is going to be... Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the Vanoise. 
I'm a little bit worried because I know you cannot camp wherever you want, so you have to go from refugees to refugees. So you don't really have this feeling of being free to do whatever you want, like I'm doing now. I have other guys up the hill uh, who are doing the GR5 who plan their tent there. But anyway, it will be the Vanuaz, and apparently it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, but they are so beautiful and gorgeous all the time. I mean, it's, it's a given by now. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching this. I mean, if you are watching this, which is insane, if I manage to uh, synchronize everything and put it on the Instagram like I wanted to, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll see if I manage to do this magic. And in the meantime, I wish you a very happy broadcasting. I hope that you were preparing your broadcast and that you're going to rock this. Uh, <laughs> and I wish you... Um, a very good night. Cheers.